Hey guys, we're here in Arizona with the Expedition 500. We're gonna walk you through the trailer real quick. The Expedition 500 is a very unique trailer. It's a hard shell pop-up, meaning there's no canvas on the entire trailer. When the body lifts up, you're able to go inside and stand nice and tall without any issues with your mobility. Why this is so unique and important is this trailer, fully standing up, has enough room to be able to walk through, sleep, hang out, whatever you need to do, but once you get the trailer down, you're able to park this inside of the garage. That's also with the help of the airlift on the bottom side of the suspension. We'll show you that in just a moment. On the back side of the trailer, we have some clip down legs that can act as a ladder to climb up and access your four solar panels up top. We have a drop down staircase right here. Right here, there's a little place that you can put your dog's leash if you bring your dog out camping with you. There's also Molly, and it comes with a shovel and an ax on the back side, but you can use this for whatever you need. Now we're on the other side of the trailer. The trailer's gonna come with two tracks. This way, if you get stuck or someone else gets stuck, you're able to get yourself out of that position using these guys here. A Molly panel on this side, as well as a Molly panel on this side. I'm gonna show you underneath real quick and then we're gonna to move to the front where all the exciting stuff is. So there's definitely a ton going on underneath this trailer. We have fresh water, gray water, and black water. But what's really exciting and important is our suspension. Like the base camp, it has independent A-arm suspension, the same suspension that trophy trucks use today. There's air ride suspension, that way you can raise and lower the trailer. This helps when you're off-road being able to raise the trailer up to get over some of those hard sections and when you want to store it in the garage later, you can put that back down. It also helps with tracking while you're towing. We have built-in limiter straps as well as a shock. This thing is ready for any trail you can take it on. Inside this first compartment, as you can see, we have two five gallon propane tank holders, as well as a tank to be able to hold your diesel for the diesel heater on the inside, as well as a hot water heater. Yes, there is onboard hot water ready to go. The front compartment is pretty important. You can see we have our jockey wheel stored inside of the slide out tray. Right here is a switch for the body lift. That's gonna raise the whole body up. We have our left side as well as our right side airbag. That way you control each airbag independently. You have your front leg, which is an electronic leg that drops down to be able to lift up and stabilize your trailer. There's an onboard compressor that'll work in conjunction with your airbags. You can also access that remotely for your tires. Then lastly, there's also a switch for the side awning. So just like any of our trailers, we know how important it is to have a full size spare in case you're out there on the trails and something happens. Not only do you have the full size spare, but you also have a little portable grill or seat, cable, whatever you want to call it, that comes out using these bungees, lifts right off of the tire, and you can place wherever you're camping. Now, finally, on the other side of the front storage box, we have the heart of the trailer. 200 amp hour deep cycle batteries, a massive inverter powering the entirety of the electrical for the trailer, as well as your solar controller for all that solar up top. There's also a ton of storage up here. That way you have extra storage and access to whatever it is that you need to bring while you're out there on the trails. Like any good off-road trailer, you need to make sure you have a fully articulating hitch. As you can see, we have that on the front, as well as our breakaway chains, and a seven pin controller. That way while you're driving, you can charge up that battery as well as run all the lights on the trailer. Now, once you wanna get the body up, all you gotta do is pull the pins. You're good to go. Now that the trailer's up, I'm gonna show you guys a couple more compartments as well as the inside of the trailer. So over in this compartment, we have the outdoor kitchen. As you slide this out, you can see the kitchen come to life. With the outdoor kitchen, we have a stove, a sink, a place to put your fridge or cooler, as well as a big storage box for whatever else you need to bring along with you to be able to cook out on the trails. The storage box directly to the right of it has an outdoor shower, as well as a pass-through that goes straight to the kitchen area on the inside. So we've been out with the Expedition 500 for about two weeks now. What that means is we have a ton of stuff that we needed to bring along with us. Something that I really love about having the Expedition 500 is not only all the storage on the inside, but all the storage on the outside as well. Check this out. 
As you lift open this hatch, you can see there is a ton of space down here. When I say a ton of space, I mean a ton of space. Now that you've seen the outside of the trailer, let's go inside. As you guys can see, we have a ton of room in here. Ample room for two people on each side, an awesome, huge bed, which is incredibly comfortable. There's also a ton of other features in here that I'm gonna walk you through in just a moment. But I wanted to show you as well that you can lift up this bed and access not only your cooking area, but as well as your storage area underneath. You have your seating area, as well as multiple plugs and outlets. You have your controls for your diesel heater. Diesel heat comes out of there. As well as an air conditioner. And the air conditioning ports come out right there. The windows all have bug screening that is magnetic, as well as the windows can open up completely. You have tons of storage up top, as well as an ample amount of lighting. The bed area is spacious. You can sleep two people there comfortably, no issues whatsoever. Over here you can see we have the dual bathroom as well as shower. You have your sink right there, an area to put the shower head right there. There's also an area here for your toiletries. When you first walk in, you'll notice that you have a huge area to be able to cook and work with, as well as a burner and sink. We have the clean water, your gray water, and black water. That way you're able to see all of your water levels easily and conveniently. You can also see that the control system is inside of the trailer as well. That way you're able to read your volts, your amperage, what your battery is at. You can also turn on the inside lights, the outside lights, the water pump, the vent, which as you can see is above the cooking area, your air conditioning, and there's also a standby switch. That switch is available for you to wire whatever you'd like into it. All of the windows have leather blackout shades. These are great for when you're sleeping. You're not gonna be woken up by that pesky light in the morning. I love these overhead bins. Not only are they incredibly high quality, but there's a ton of storage up here for whatever you wanna bring with you on your trip. As I mentioned before, here's that pass through into the kitchen area. Using the seating area as a bed is as easy as taking the table out. Once the table's out, you flip these legs up on all four sides. Grab your table again, pop your table down. Grab your cushions, throw one on top, and then the triangle piece right here. Now, you're ready to sleep. The Expedition 500 is ready and easily able to sleep up to four people incredibly comfortably. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this walk around on the Expedition 500. Now, I know this was extremely brief and we didn't go over probably even a quarter of everything that we could have gone over with this trailer. Now, this is our second prototype. There's bound to be some changes, but this is pretty much, if not exactly, the final version. We'll keep you guys updated on all the new changes coming to all of the trailers on the site, and I can't wait for you guys to join along with our team. Now, as you can see, we're in a beautiful spot. I'm gonna enjoy nature and enjoy the Expedition 500. Hope to see you guys next time.